All right. Um, so what they're asking us to do in this problem is use the binomial theorem to expand and simplify the expression. All right. So hopefully, if you guys remember when we talked about this, we talked about the binomial expansion. There's a couple things that we looked at. Um, one, that there was a relationship with the coefficients. And two, what we also looked at is the degrees of our first term started at 4, and then it went down in descending order. And of our second term, started at 0, and then went in ascending order. And the rule with the coefficients was um, what we figured out was at, if you guys remember, by using Pascal's triangle, if we expand a term x to the 0, that left us with the coefficient of 1. x to the first, oh, I'm sorry, it's really a binomial, right? Right, right? x plus y to first gave us two coefficients of 1 and 1. And then x plus y squared gave us 1, 2, 1. And then that came to the pattern that if I take these two terms, add them up, that gives me a 2. So then x, so then x plus y cubed is going to be 1, 3, 3, 1. And then if I expand a binomial to the fourth power, my coefficients are going to be multiplied by 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So that's by using pine, um, Pascal's triangle to say, all right, each one of my coefficients, if I just had x plus y, these would be my coefficients. However, we look at this, and we have some different terms here, also with different degrees. And the next thing we also learned is remember that we start at your degree. This was your n, right? And every term can be written as x to the n minus r times y to the r, where your degree of your first term goes down in descending order. It starts at n, where r is 0, and then goes all the way down to 0. And your r starts at 0 and then ascends all the way up to your higher degree. So when I'm trying to figure this out, I know that binomial expansion to the fourth degree, I'm going to start with every single term being multiplied by these coefficients. So I have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So what I'm going to do is to get this started, I'm just going to write 1. I know that my first term is going to be multiplied. Ah, let's write it down here. First term is going to be multiplied by 1, then multiplied by 4, multiplied by 6, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 1. All right? And then what we know is we could have every single one of these is going to term. Uh, what I'll do is I'll rewrite every single term in there. So let's write x squared, 5. x squared, you don't have to do all this work, but I'm just going to kind of show you where you guys can what it looks like, so then we can start doing some shortcuts. OK. So here, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have every single term of our binomial expansion. But remember, a binomial expansion can always be written as x to the n minus r times y to the r. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our four, um, with 4 as being our n and r being 0. So what we could have is say, this is going to be to the fourth. That's to the 0. And then remember, the first term now goes in descending order. So that's 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 0. Okay, So do you guys see how what this is doing? First of all, you notice see my coefficients. My coefficients I obtained from my Pascal's triangle. In the binomial expansion, we have every single term. But notice how, the, notice how the relationship between the exponents. For the first term, it starts at your degree and then goes down. See how x squared first starts at 4, then goes to 3, 2, 1, and then 0? right? And then your second term starts at 0 and then climbs all the way up to 4, or ascends up to 4. Now, we don't need to write these, but I just wrote them in there because we know those go to 1. But I just wanted to show you it occurs with every single one of these terms. So now what we need to do is just simply simplify our process. So remember, when you take an exponent and raise it to a power, that's going to leave you multiply. So x squared to the fourth is x to the eighth, plus x squared cubed is going to be x to the sixth, and 4 times 5 is 20. So we can just multiply those. Plus 5 squared is 25 times 6 is 150. 
x squared x squared or x squared squared is going to be x to the fourth. So, so we have 150 x to the fourth plus 5 cubed is going to be um, 125 times 4 is going to be, uh, let's see, 400. So then times 4 would be 500. Now what I'm doing is just simplifying each term. And then 5 to the fourth, so 5 cubed, and then 5 to the fourth would be 625. Yes. And there you go. There's your binomial expansion. All right? So you guys don't have to use all these steps, but I wanted to show it. I wanted to write out all these steps so you guys can see this is from the Pascal's triangle. That's how I got these coefficients. So once you know what the coefficients is going to be, or at least what they're going to be multiplied by, then you just take your first and last terms and you have them in descending and ascending order with their at degrees. Yes? Um, you also need to multiply, right? Are you multiplying the first before the plus by after? Like, to get like, 150, like, you Yeah, I just did um, 150 is here. I did 5 squared, which is 25, and then 25 times 6. It's like this. You can rearrange the numbers. You know, it doesn't matter how they're multiplied. If I have 3 times x times 5, that's the same thing as 5 times 3 times x, right? So I just rearrange them to multiply them, because you can combine the numbers. What about what is x to the 8, the very first one? Well, we know 5 to the 0 is 1. Um, right. Um, and it's x squared raised to the 4, so you multiply those. And you add, they're just like 3, that 3 and 1, and the next one, you You add them if they're just side by side. Yeah, it's raised to another power. X. When you have an exponent raised to another power, that's when you multiply. When you have exponents that are multiplied by each other, you add their powers. Cool? Good. Okay, so I'm